I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Shall you bring the right hand? Call it down. I'm so sorry. No, no. Gianna, you got it. We are here. Take a deep breath. I need to know how many people are injured and are any of them trapped. I I don't know. I, there's someone in the, in the car and I, I think some of them are, are dead. Um, okay, how many street. vehicles are involved? Say that again. How many vehicles are involved? Uh, two, two. Okay, I'm sending the fire department right now. Okay. Please try to keep everyone calm and okay. do not move anyone. Okay. Or Battalion 7, or 58, Truck 9, Patrol 7. Respond to reported traffic collision, cut and rescue, with confirmed people trapped at the intersection of Oso Parkway and Tesoro Creek. We have multiple reports of up to six patients seriously injured and the possibility of some fatalities. Timeout 2312. Okay. Also, I just responding. Uh, yeah. 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 Y
Hey, what's your name? Colin, how old are you? Okay, Colin, where are you hurt? You got head on your head. Oh, yeah, okay. Does that hurt a lot? Okay, can you move your other leg? I was in a car. No. Can you feel the other leg? Can you move your arm? Okay, squeeze my finger. Okay, so you can't, can you feel me touching your hair? Okay, but you can't feel, can you, can you? Okay. Yeah, that one's dead. Okay, Colin, truck's coming. We're going to cut you out of here. We're going to get vital signs and things on you in just a minute. There's more firemen showing up. Were you in one of these cars? Okay, you got a lot of blood on you. You're going to want to clean that up a little bit, but you're not injured. Okay, what about this guy? What's your name? Garrett, where'd you come from? Okay, were you in one of these cars? You got a cut. You were driving this car. Have you been drinking? Okay. All right. So this is your only injury that you're aware of? Okay. Did you stay here with the... Yeah, thanks. Okay, Jay. Looks like we've got a total of six patients. We've got two critical. One's the ejected guy over there. This guy's trapped in the back with a spinal injury. He's got a big compound fracture of his right femur, but he can't feel it. Um, We've got two miles. That kid there, he was driving this car. And he's got some ETOH on board, alcohol on board. Okay. Uh, but he seems to be, he's got a scratch on his head. And then we've got another girl here who appears to be uninjured. She was the rear seat pat, uh, driver's side of this car. So total of six patients, two critical, two mild, two DOA. Okay, let me report that to Orange County Fire right now. Okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to start med cop. Side. How do you copy? 58, this is mission. I copy your 10 two. Go ahead. Mission Base, we're at the scene of a two car rollover collision uh, by Oso and Tribuco Creek, right near Tesoro High School. Uh, we've got multiple patients here, uh, multiple patients ejected, a couple of patients trapped, some walking wounded. There's a lot of kids here. Right now, it looks like we've got six patients, but uh, we're triaging more. And I'll be back to you in just a minute. 10 4, I copy that. I'll stand by. Thanks. Okay, who's working this guy? Mike? Are you going to the hospital? Okay, this patient number one told me he's 18, head and chest injuries. He was still talking a minute ago, but he's circling the drain. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'll tell Mission you're coming. Code three, you're reading. First ambulance. Reading. All right. You gonna get some IV started on him? And so, okay. Base, we're going to 58. 58, it's mission, go ahead. 
Mission Base 58, I can confirm some things. We've got two critical traumas. One was ejected from the rolled over vehicle. He's an 18 year old male. He was talking up until a couple of minutes ago. He's got serious head and chest injuries. Looks like a compressed skull fracture and probably a flail chest. Um, he is leaving the scene right now in our first medics ambulance. Uh, he's coming to you, code three, with an ETA of, I'd say, from here about 12 to 15 minutes. You're going to be able to take him, hopefully? 10-4, the trauma team has been activated, and we are expecting two critical traumas from you. Okay, I was not able to get any vital signs on him. We scooped and ran. Uh, he's really circling the drain. Um, that would be patient number one. Patient number two is another 18-year-old male. He's trapped in the rear seat of the second vehicle. Uh, he has an open fracture of his right femur, uh, a lot of tissue out, a lot of blood loss, uh, but he has no sensation in his lower extremities and no movement, so he's apparently got a spinal injury. Um, I'm going to get some vitals on him. We're calling him patient number two. How'd you copy? I copy 10-2. We'll be expecting him. Uh, good. Now, patients number three and four, if you've got time, patient number three is a 17-year-old female. She got herself out of the car prior to her arrival. She's got a scratch on her right cheek, otherwise seems to be uninjured. Uh, she's just very uh, upset. Uh, we're getting vital signs on her right now. Patient number four was the driver of that vehicle. He's an 18-year-old male. He got himself out of the car. There's a DOA on the hood of that car. Uh, he states that he has had some drinks tonight. Uh, he has, the only injury he has is a scratch on his left temple. We'll be assessing him more. And uh, that's all I got so far besides the two DOAs. How do you copy? I copy you 10-2. I copy that we have two dead teenagers and two critical traumas. Uh, that minor has been ejected from the Okay, just confirming, are you going to be able to take our second critical when we get them extricated? Yes, of course. Excellent. We're ready. Okay, thank you very much. I'll be back with some vitals in just a minute. 10 Good night, 7. Perfect night, 7. Sawyer, would you know that, right, Sawyer? Okay, are you hurting anywhere? We've got the MCI level one car traffic collision. Total of six victims. Otherwise, we have two critical traumas. One is up in emission. The other one is an extrication problem. Two minors. One is in custody at CHP. Also, if you could request corner, tip, and a chaplain, please. going to go on the bench seat in that vehicle. Okay. Scotty. Where'd McDonald go? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Copy that. We just got to get that guy out. He's patient number two. He's going to go in that ambulance with patient number three. They're walking her over to the bench seat now. She's just a mile. And uh, now I'm actually right now I'm looking for Scott McDonald. Where'd he go? There you are. Colin! So have you got any Colin! vital signs? Where's What's his status now? Colin! Where's Colin? Where's okay. my son? I am on Okay. 
She's here with you. I'm going to have her come with you to the hospital, okay? She's, she's going to ride in the ambulance with you. You there? Okay, just going to be another minute. Mission Base, 458. 58, it's mission. Go ahead. Mission Base, 58. Just an update. Uh, they're still taking the lid off of the car to get patient number two out. He's still conversant. Uh, his mother showed up here at the scene. Uh, I'm going to be letting her ride in the front seat of the ambulance to your location. So have somebody there uh, ready to help her. Patient number three, as I said, is loaded. I've got a quick set of vitals on her. Uh, pulse of 120, strong regular, blood pressure 124 over 82, and rest of 24. No medical history, no allergies. Uh, patient number four, who's going to stay here in CHT custody, is 18. No history, meds, or allergies. A uh, little scratch is all he's got. And um, I'll get back to you when we get patient number two executed. We're getting as fast as we can. 10 for I copy that. We'll have the chaplain standing by. Thank you. Has patient number one arrived at the hospital yet? Yes, he has, and sadly he expired. So, all right. Uh, thanks, Mr. I'll be back. Uh, Chief, Jane, uh, patient number one. He arrested on the way to mission. Uh, they they pronounced it. Okay. Almost got you out, Colin.
going to be taking him out now. So I'll come get you as soon as we get him under that board, okay? Right. Be advised, we've uh, disentangled the uh, trap victim. We're working on loading now. Also, be advised, uh, update from uh, medical communications okay, officer. Uh, the patient okay, number one off scene is now deceased as well, unfortunately, at the hospital. Total of three DOA on them. Okay, sir, I see. I copy. Total DOA. Okay, sir, I told him. I told her he's going to be on the gurney, and then she can walk with him to the ambulance. Okay? He's, he's talking. He's, he's oriented. Uh, you're going to see he's got a broken bone in his right femur. It's very dramatic looking, but it's not life threatening. Try to be calm, try as hard as you can. <laughs> just give him just a second, get him on to the green. As soon as he's straight on there, I'm going to walk you over. Okay? Alright, take my hand. All right, guys, make room for a second. This is Colin's mom. Oh, Colin, I love you. <laughs> okay, Are now they're, they're going to move. Go ahead, you can walk with them. Walk with them to the ambulance. And then once we get there, I'm going to bring you around to the front seat of the ambulance. Just so I can go ahead. You're going to be in. Be advised, uh, last patient loaded in to CARE 8799. Should be en route to mission approximately one minute, code three. Uh, we're turning the uh, additional minor patient over to the HP. He'll be in custody. Uh, looks like it was drinking and driving related. Uh, we'll go ahead and disband command. All units should be back in service in about 20, 30 minutes. Just our command, I copy last patient off scene in one to two minutes. One patient remaining on scene, BLS, with CHP for possible drug driving. Mission base, circle 58. 58, it's mission, go ahead. Okay, uh, mission base 58, patients number two and three are both leaving the scene now. Code three, flight to sirens, your facility, EPA, again, about 12 minutes. Uh, patient still has no sensation in his lower extremities. He's alert, oriented, uh, he's hypotensive, pulses rapid, uh, blood pressure was down around 80 over 50 the last time we got one. So uh, that's that. We used to have everybody uh, accounted for here. Our two DOAs are in the morgue. Our driver, patient number four, is in CHP custody for a field sobriety uh, test. And I think we can go ahead and clear if you've got everything you need. 58, it's mission. I have everything I need. We can clear right now. Thank you. You guys did a good job. Uh, copy. So did you. Thanks, mission. Drinking because I smell the odor of alcohol coming from. I only had two beers. Only two beers. You're 18, right? Yeah. You understand in California under 21 zero tolerance, right? Yeah. You understand that? Two people died today. I'm All right. So sorry. Very serious situation here. I'm gonna have to check for your sobriety, okay? So we're gonna run through a few tests first. Are you sick or injured at all? No. When's the last time you ate? Uh, I had dinner. You had dinner when? A couple hours ago. Okay. All right. What'd you eat? Uh, well, we were going to In-N-Out. Um, okay. All right. Are you taking any medications or anything like that? No. Okay. Looks like you bumped your head, but not too serious, right? No. Okay. Do you have any physical impairments or anything? No. Okay. All right. So we're going to run you through a few tests, okay? First, I'm going to explain and demonstrate, and then you're going to perform them, okay? Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. All right. So first, I want you to put stand right here to my left, okay? Put your feet together, hands out by your side. Okay, do you wear contacts at all? No. Okay, all right, so what I want you to do is follow the tip of my fingers with your eyes only, okay? Do not move your head. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. 
Don't move your head. Two beers, huh? Are you lying here, Garrett? All right, for this next test, I want you to see, you see this yellow line here? All right, I want you to leave your left foot placed there. I want you to leave, put your right foot in front of your left with the toe of your left touching the, the heel of your right, okay? So put your right in front of your left like that. Go, no, no, no. go back. Hands down by your side. All right, do it again. Put your right in front of your left. All right, hands down by your side. Hold that position until I tell you to begin. You understand? Okay. When I tell you to begin, you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps along this yellow line, okay? Counting out loud, looking at your feet, keeping your hands down by your side, you're gonna count nine steps. One, two, three, all the way to nine. When you hit your ninth step, you're gonna leave your front foot placed and you're just gonna turn around, do the same coming back, okay? One, two, three, all the way to nine. Okay, remember, once you start, do not stop, okay? Keep your hands down by your side, count out loud and look at your feet, okay? You understand? understand? Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And Shelly, tell the patrol guys they'll help a car and watch me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, Garrett, because you are under 21, this next test, you must take it, essentially, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do, so it's called the preliminary alcohol screening device, okay? What you're gonna wanna do, just wrap your lips around the mouthpiece here, okay? Before you do that, take a deep breath in, and you're just gonna exhale into the mouthpiece until I tell you to stop, okay? You understand? Again, Eric, uh, Jared, you're under 21, zero tolerance, okay? I'm gonna arrest you for driving under the influence. Put your hands behind your back. Gross vehicular manslaughter. It's a felony, Garrett. Come with me. You killed Rachel. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one won't be before you. Do you understand? Watch your Santa Ana one thirteen thirty one. Show me in route to Orange County. Oh. to speak to you on behalf of these young people, Father, everything ahead of them and how everything has changed. Would you give us great wisdom as we notify the parents? Be with each family, Father, we pray in your name. Was killed on April 18, 2019, when found dead on arrive at the scene of a drinking and driving accident. Cindy had just turned 18 years old and was months away from heading off to college. Cindy was a light to the world and always had a smile on her face. 
She was a natural born leader, specifically in leading her lacrosse team and in guiding her younger brother. When not at school, Sydney could be found playing the guitar, cracking jokes, and bringing joy to all her family and friends. Sydney's life lives on through her parents, Sean and Candace, and her younger brother, Tanner. A memorial service will be held at Saddleback Church on Saturday, April 30th, 2019 at 10 a.m. Sydney, you brought laughter and joy to everyone you met. You were an amazing, caring, and loving daughter, friend, and sister. We wish we could have seen you become the amazing woman, wife, and mother we know you would have been. You were taken from us all too soon, but we know our Heavenly Father has prepared a wonderful place in heaven where we will all be together one day. We love you with all of our hearts, and you will forever be missed. Rachel Elizabeth Malak was found dead on arrival in a drinking and driving car accident on April 18, 2019. Rachel was an inspiration to others, always going above and beyond what was required in order to achieve excellence in all her endeavors. Rachel was a no-nonsense, independent person who was mature beyond her years, as well as a caring young lady. She was sympathetic to the needs of others. Her love of animals and the environment was apparent in her choice of foods, apparel, and hobbies, which included horseback riding and trail hiking. Rachel aspired to be a great writer one day, hoping to change people's hearts and minds through her words and ideas. Rachel is survived by her grandparents, Paul and Carmela Malak, Norman and Mary Toe, parents Joe and Brenda Malak, and brothers Kevin and Nick. A funeral mass will be held at San Francisco Solano Church on Thursday, April 25th at 10 a.m. Rachel, you are an incredible granddaughter, daughter, sister, and friend. As an exceptional scholar and senior at Tesoro, we anticipated you achieving great things in college and your professional career. The world has truly suffered a great loss. Our hearts are heavy and filled with sadness caused by your untimely departure. Our lives will never be the same, but we look forward to the day when we are reunited in heaven where the Lord will wipe away every tear. Pretty powerful program. I'm looking right now at the faces right now, and I'm hoping what you saw will last, not only for prom next month, this summer, as a lot of you guys go off to college, and you think about this, because if we could learn from the mistakes that they made here, none of this will ever occur to any of you. My name is Steve Concialdi, and I'm a captain paramedic right here in this area with Orange County Fire Authority. I'm also with an agency called FAD, Friends Against Drinking and Driving. And we put these mock DUI crashes on just to show you what actually took place. What you witnessed today was a real accident. This wasn't make-believe in the real accident that occurred here in the Saddleback Valley. In that accident, the driver only had a couple drinks. He thought he was fine. He wasn't going that far. Well, in that accident, he ended up killing two people and seriously injured a few others. And his life has changed forever as well as the families and the victims. So if you could learn again from what happened here, and so you're never involved in something like this, we've done our jobs. Again, it's powerful, it's moving. Tesoro is close to my heart. I had a daughter that graduated, went here all four years and graduated from here. I have two other uh, children, one that's a freshman in college, one that's a senior in high school, at another local high school, that they've been to dances here. We've taken pictures at Soka taking pictures of the bell tower. We've been in Kodo. So I've seen a lot of you in dresses and, and tuxes and going to the, the prom and homecomings and so forth. And I'm hoping we get through this season, we get through this summer, and as you go off to college, a lot of you, again, you'll make those right choices. So again, thank you for your time. Let's give a big round of applause to your principal, Ken Israni, your activities director, Christina Miggy for all that she did putting this together. Chloe for all she did to help plan it. Big round of applause to Orange County Fire Authority, the California Highway Patrol, Orange County Sheriff's Department, Mission Hospital, who sees and treats a lot of these patients. And they did a great job with the moulage. Care Ambulance, O'Connor Mortuary, and our wonderful tip volunteers in the blue vests. 
And a big thank you to our, tip, to our student actors. They did an outstanding job. Nowadays, there's no excuse to drink and drive or get in the car with somebody that's been drinking. We often see street racing, students uh, drinking and driving, being distracted, being on their cell phones. Again, if we could avoid those, it's gonna save so many headaches from all of you. So as I bring up your principal to speak to you to conclude this, again, I wanna thank you for your time. You've been a great audience. Uh, call on one of the, the, the one that was trapped in the back of the car. He is part of Safe Rides. He has a bunch of things that he'll hand out to you. So again, if you ever need a ride, you call Safe Rides, call an Uber, Lyft, call a friend, call your parents, but don't get in a car with somebody that's been drinking and don't drink and drive. Thank you very much. Well, I think Steve just said just about all of it, but you know, this time of year is a time of happiness, of joy. Seniors getting ready to graduate, juniors getting ready to go on summer break, kind of halfway through getting ready for their senior year. It's a time when, when there are a lot of things come about, and the last thing you want is a memory like this to cloud those joyous times. Okay, Put the cell phones away, take someone's keys, call an Uber, whatever it takes, because you don't think it's going to happen. You only notice afterwards. This is just to try and say it could happen. And so plan ahead of time. Okay? That's all I got to say. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate you coming out.